All right, just about ready for baseball. And starting for the Yankees, the right-hander, Luis Heal. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep into games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Here's the veteran second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The wide to kick the pitch. That misses. And this one is off and running. The one one swing and a ball popped up and that'll fall for a base hit off to a good start with a leadoff nod Batting second, the center field Kevin here's Kevin Kiermeyer pretty amazing going way back possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen the kick in the pitch runner goes swing and a miss throw to second out well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. And here it comes. And that's in for a strike. Well, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here comes the 1. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Sneaks through, base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. That is it. The catch is number nine. Danny Jansen to hit Danny. here. Kind of a throwback. Jansen. No batting gloves. And a foul ball. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Bichette on second. Guerrero on at first with two down. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing. Back in New York. And starting in this one, Alec Manoa. What do you look for here? Well, this guy had a bunch of wins last year, and I'll tell you what, as a position player, when you've got a pitcher that's going to go out there, take the ball, and put you in a position to win, for whatever reasons, you're relaxed, you enjoy playing behind him, but you also are able to score for a guy like that, and that's who he was for his team last year, and I'm sure they're hoping they get more of the same this season. The pitch. Alex Verdugo oh. in the box here lets that one go for a ball.
and the 1-0. Swings through that. Singy Alec Mendoa has turned into one of the better starters in the American League. Blue Jays drafted him out of West Virginia. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2019 draft. Yeah, and just a year later, a big league all-star. So developed pretty quickly and a front-end rotation guy for the Toronto Blue Jays. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. See so DJ LeMayhew, really good hitter, but as well defensive versatility. And fittingly enough, he's the first winner of the Gold Glove Award that went to a utility player. He won it in 2022 in the American League. Here's your one. That oh, one missed. Hot. Yeah, but that year, 35 games at first, 41 at second, and 47 at third. Uh, this guy's just got so much versatility, but a great hitter as well. You know, both you and I were surprised the first time that we were kind of up close and around him of how tall he is. He's six foot four. Everything came together for him. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt oh. the other way. Juan Soto, the next to hit, takes outside. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center way back there and that ball is gone Juan Soto goes deep his 11th of the year just like that they move in front it's 2-0 Chris he's homered in back-to-back -back games now yep seeing the ball well and he's got his timing locked in he's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. So one out, nobody on. Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees. Judge rips that one. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. And strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Now fly ball to right center. Varsho moving under it. Calls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. First offering, misses the mark. One ball, no strike. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. That's down. One hops off the wall. Throws to second. Not in time. It's a double. He's been swinging it really well lately. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. This one high in the air to left center. Kiermaier puts it away, and that is the third out of the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. And the pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 
That's in there. That is strike two. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he starts off the second with a double. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Runner at second, nobody out. Next one misses, ball one. Popped up. And it drops in. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And now it's Dalton Varsho. And there's the strike. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering upstairs. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him and he hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Left-hand hitter waits. Hi. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strike out there. Back to the top of the lineup. Whit Merrifield will hit next. He's one for one. Let off the game with a single. First offering, and it just misses. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. And the right-hander deals. And that one fouled off. One and two here. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Bell on third. Varsho over at first with one away. Good job to fight that one off. Just missed. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Here's Kiermaier now. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And ball one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Base is loaded. Two down. And he hits a ground ball right side. Cabrera in plenty of time to first. And that is that. So they strand three and leave them loaded. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Yankees two and the Jays nothing. Bottom of the inning. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. Oswaldo Cabrera. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Manoa, an all star a season ago. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Out towards right center field. Varsho after it. Makes the grab on the run. One away. Batting it. The catcher. 
Here's Jose Trevino. Trevino. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He flexes his power with that swing. Third home run of the season. It's 3-0. I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul ball. One down. Oswald Peraza stepping in now for the Yankees. The next that's offering the misses, and that's ball one. One ball, two straight. And two now balls. two and two. two. One down, base is empty. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. He'll circle the bases. And they add to their lead. It's 5 zip. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. One out, base is empty. And next for New York, DJ LeMayhew. Singled and scored his first time. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. The left the left field. Field. Two outs, two. base is empty. Here's oh. Juan Soto. He's already oh. homered in this game. That one hammered, but pulled foul. <laughs> Shoots a line drive single into right center. Runner at first Nobody with two away. It's Aaron down. Judge now. Aaron. He's all for one. Yeah. Soft contact in the air and a base hit right there. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Waste no time there. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Hyunjin Ryu. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. At the play, Austin Wells. Soto at second. Judge at first. Two out of the inning. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning. Ah, and this ball gets down. It's a hit. Runner at third puts on the brakes. Base is now loaded with two away. Wasting no time. He's 
two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. It's softly on the ground to third. Biggio tosses across the first, and they take care of Stanton for the out. That's the third out, inning over. But the long ball was working in this inning, not one. All set for the start of the inning. Bo Bichette up to the dish. And a pitch. Strike one. Bo Bichette, second round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy, all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship. Stays alive. The 0-2. Caught him looking for the K. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Vladdy measures six feet two inches, 24 years old, and he was selected to the All Star game last year. The next pitch misses two and one. Just missed. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. That one found hard the other way. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Oh, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that bat side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Up the middle. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Two outs. Base is empty. Now it's Jansen to hit. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses oh. inside, and it's 1-0. One, oh. one ball, no strike. This ball's chopped on the oh. ground, and it goes just foul. That That's one misses. Ball. Now two balls two and ball. a strike. One strike. Good eye right the there. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He circles the bases. Third home run of the season. It's 5 1. I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Next to hit, Brandon Bell. First pitch, just misses. Bell, a former All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2009. And it's even up. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a pitch. On the ground. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 5-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back for more from the Bronx. Here's the second baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. The line of the pitch. Hard ground ball, base knock.
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Biggio throws the first in time. One gone, bottom of the third inning. And up next for New York, Oswald Peraza. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. He's trying for third. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. He swings and fouls one off. The 0 2. And that one a little bit high. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Nope. Next one Nothing. just misses. Ball two. It's a good take. Rudder goes again. Swing and a miss. Out at third. And that ends the inning. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now for the Jays, number 36. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Got him looking. One out. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. That one misses, and that is ball one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Check swing, went around, and the count even at one. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, one and two. Righty to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still 0-2. And that one oh. missing low. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. That misses the zone. And that's ball two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that will end the inning. Down in order. Ready to go, bottom Leading four. Up. Here's well, Alex Verdugo. The center fielder. Verdugo, former second round pick by the Dodgers back in 2014. And Chris, I think one of the things that people always focus on with him, he was the centerpiece to that Mookie Betts trade between the Dodgers and the Red Sox. And that's off the inside edge. And it's a ball and a strike. Oh. 
Yeah, and there's a strike. Yeah, and many people would say that's a ton of pressure to go into a place like Boston with those shoes to fill. And you know what? He went in there saying he was going to be himself and put up some pretty good numbers. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Well, he found himself behind in the count right, right there, but he didn't give in. I can watch base hits like that one all day long, oh, hey, man. So could every hitting coach in the league. Just a night. Here goes the runner. That's the third. Zips it to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Up, up, up. And now it's Juan Soto. He's already oh. homered here in this one. Oh. On the ground, the first. Guerrero. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. They get the out on Soto. Here is Aaron Judge. One for two. And first offering is fouled off. Smash to the left side. Bichette. Jump throw. And that is that. Pure athleticism on that one. In the air, legs split a bit, and fires across the diamond. He's going to get a lot of high fives in the dugout. We go to the top of the fifth. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Number 97. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. The pitch. There's a strike. Well, these Jays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Just pulled the off of it a little bit right there. Yeah, that front shoulder Two coming three. open instead of staying closed. If he does that, oh, he's going to be able strike. to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Misses inside. One ball, one strike. And one and two. At the belt and fires. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Two outs, base is empty. Bulbashet next up for the Blue Jays. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Out to short, Peraza. Third out, and that ends the frame. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They're down here, five to Back here in New York, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Austin Wells. Ryu, back to work. Swing and a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Fought off foul. You know, these Yankees, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. One one now. That one fouled off. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Kick Sandios. Struck him out looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to 
at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And here is Oswaldo Cabrera. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Cabrera checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Nope, he held back. One out and a runner at second. Two down. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. Out to short. Fires over to Guerrero. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. Leave one. They're up 5-1. Top six. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Yeah, that's too high. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made Dad proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More plate discipline than Dad. Swing and a miss struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now Danny Jansen. That one catches the zone. Strike one. See, how about this, though? A little more than 400 games into his career. Vlad Jr. had the exact homer total and OBP as his dad. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. And next is the designated hitter, Brandon Bell. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. On the ground to first. Wells takes yep. it to the bag, and that is that. So they make short work of him there. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees 5 and the Blue Jays 1. Bottom of the sixth inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. Peraza, 22 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. On the ground to third. The throw to first, one up, one down. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Alex Verdugo. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. First offering misses the mark. Tap back up the middle. Fires over to Guerrero. And Verdugo is set down. Two outs, base is empty. DJ LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. That one ripped. And the inning is over. Top of inning number seven. Here's the left fielder, number 36. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss. 4-1. They say it went. And he deals. The punch out there, one away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Nope. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers. They Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what. Pitch. Good eye right there. And that one is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Richards on a pitch out of the pen here. He's pitching on two days rest. Juan Soto now. The pitch. In the air on the infield. Biggio drifts towards it. 
and he makes the catch. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Into center. Kiermaier moving under it. He's got it. And there's two away. And next for New York, Austin Wells. Going one. Look, it looks like that curveball backed up on him. And although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Ground ball right side. He'll do it himself. That's out number three. So no. Back in the Bronx, ready to begin the eighth. And here is Whit Merrifield. Scott Efrox will take over here. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So he should. He's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's one away. And now Kevin Kiermeyer. Comebacker to the mound. Slings to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Bichette stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a ball popped up. Efros has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nothing Back in the Bronx, bottom of the eighth. Now, Giancarlo Stanton. The designated hitter. Giancarlo. The pitch. Stanton. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Kicks and fires. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0 2. This one popped up. Merrifield sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. One for three. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. And a ground ball to first. Guerrero oh. takes it himself. Two up, two down. Here's the Yankees catcher now. Jose Trevino. On a line, base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now at the plate, a rope into right, and that's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Not in time. He's safe. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Oh, Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And that one wrapped foul. Right-handed reliever. Check swing. No appeal. And now it's even one and one. Two outs. Blind into right. Varsho squeezes it. And that is that. Yank strand a pair. They leave this one though 5 1. Back now in the Bronx. We go to the ninth. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Efros, a 6 2 righty, 200 pounds. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. Efros back to work. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And 
And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next oh. offering misses, and it's two and one. Rip to short. Peraza fires yeah. over to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Danny Jansen now at the plate. Danny, Danny. Jansen. And the first oh, pitch okay. misses for ball one. Oh. And he pumps it a strike. Here's a 1 1. And a good eye there. Pitch misses there. Three balls and a strike. Right hander kicks, deals. There's a swing and a miss. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Yeah, the righty deals. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Jansen leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Man at first. Number 36. Next up for the Blue Jays. And that's in for a strike. Edge of the zone for a strike. Oh, a two down. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series. And there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark. You're sleeping in your own bed. You're eating your clubhouse manager's food. Everything's right in your world. And they played like it today. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Now it's the second baseman with Merrifield. And a one two. Here's a high chopper on to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. The center field. Kevin Kiermeyer. The wind and the pitch. Tried to go. check his swing there. Appealed a third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. The wind to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. That was straight queso right there. Next pitch just misses. Counts full three and two. Got him swinging. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. And that one hit to first. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that'll do it. And now the DH, Alex Verdugo. The designated hitter. Verdugo. The 1 1. And there's the strike. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Labor Torres up to the plate. And now two and two. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And out of here. This place is absolutely loving it. Home run number five on the season. It's 2 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. at bat was very patient. And it paid off. Here's Juan Soto. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Aaron Judge at the plate. Ball on a strike. Bounced up the middle. Merrifield to first in time. Judge out on the play. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. There's a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one misses in the dirt. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. On the ground, right side, and it stays fair. Danny Jansen to hit here. One run batted in yesterday. Their only run of the game. Spring around the run. And that one is lifted in the air. And he'll play it on a bounce. 
They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Back-to-back -back singles. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Swing and a miss. And a count. One and two. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next pitch misses. Two and two. It's a good take. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Runners at first and second with one gone. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Number 36. Next up for the Blue Jays. Out of line, out towards center. And that ends the inning. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Two two now. There's a swing and a drive. That one is back. It just got out of here. His first homer of the year. It's three nothing. Pitchers are taught to keep the ball down so that you don't get hurt. But unfortunately on that one, he made a pretty good pitch in terms of location, but it was just a better swing. So digging in, Austin Wells. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. And that's a base hit into left field. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Kevin Gosman hails from Colorado, but he played his college ball at LSU. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2012 draft, made his debut at 22 years old in 2013, and he has gotten himself through a lot. And that'll fall for a base hit. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Yeah, and coming through the minor leagues, he was expected to be the number one starter for the Baltimore Orioles and never quite lived up to that billing, but continued to fight, ups and downs, persevered, and after two free agent deals, he finally became an all-star. Drops into the glove. Runner tags up for third. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Alex Verdugo getting ready to hit. He let off the bottom of the first with a single and then came in to score. On the ground, could be two. Over to second for one. And that's two. Back at Yankee Stadium, top half of the third inning. Here's Matt Chapman. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And he walked him. In 2022, Garrett Cole set the Yankees' single-season strikeout record with 257 punch-outs. Pretty amazing mark for that historic franchise. Left-hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss there. Big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage. But on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout. That could get the inning back under control on the mound. Grisham pulls it down. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Bobachette gets a chance to hit. Grounded out his first time. The 1 1. In the air, right field. Judge has it sized up. And makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and now just a two run deficit. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. And they tag him out. As we go to the last of the third, and stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. Go! Ball to strike. The pitch. Slides. He's got it. To first. 
It's there, and that's a great play. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Here's a 2-1. Swung on, belted. Kiermaier going back on it. Back some more. Out of here. Juan Soto goes deep. His 12th of the season. It's 4-1. He's got a real hard fastball. You can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here comes Aaron Judge. Judge rips that one. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. He was all over that one. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. But we all know about Anthony Rizzo's skill set on the field multiple times at All-Star. Multiple times he's won the gold glove. He even won the National League Platinum Glove. But also a guy who won the 2017 Roberto Clemente Award for his work off the field. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. The solo homer his first time. The 2-1. Ground ball the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes the judge around third. Kiermaier fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next to hit, Austin Wells. Check swing, but he went too far. Going to count one and two. He's going, he's going. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw, save! Grisham on its second with two down. Smoked on the ground a second. Fires over to Guerrero. Inning over. Start of the fourth. And now the right fielder, George Springer. Here's the 2-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a base hit into right center field. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Got to love the resiliency he showed in that at bat. Battling with two strikes. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Got it by him for the K. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Next offering is in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a pop-up. Torres puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now the left fielder, number 36. 0 for 1 so far. Soto drifts towards it. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Righty to the plate. And that's the strikeout looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Bottom four. Now the third baseman, Osvaldo Cabrera. The third baseman. Osvaldo Cabrera. One, two. Hard hit left side. Chapman over to first in time. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now here is Anthony Volpe. Fly to left his first time up. One down, base is empty. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. And that's a two-bagger. 
I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Here's Alex Verdugo. And another ball. One strike. Liner caught it second. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here's a 1-1. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 7-1. It's pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now on the bump, Zach Pop. Hey, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Now the youngster Juan Soto. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. And that's a two out double. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Man at second. To the right side, Merrifield. Fires over to first. Play me. Back at Yankee Stadium, Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Matt. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go oh. after hitters and get quick outs. Up Torres fires over to first, the and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Miracle. Next Ed one Bolton. misses, and a count two and one. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpiring crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. 3-2 now. Fights it off. He'll see another. 3-2. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And yeah, there's ball four. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Here's Kiermaier now. The center field. Merrifield, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Cole a check to first. Merrifield gets back easily. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Cabrera racing over to make the catch. Now it's the shortstop. Bo Bichette. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. That one to first. Can't field it cleanly. Yeah, they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. You know, these Yankees really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. So far, they have six hits in the counts where the pitcher has had the advantage. So it hasn't been easy for them, but they're finding a way to get it done. Kiermaier moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. And a 3-1 on the way. 
3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough advance? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Next offering is downstairs. Runner. Runner on the goal. On the ground to the left. And that squirts through. Now bad. Third base. So one out with two aboard. And next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Now fly ball to right center. And no one can get there. It falls in. The run comes in to score from second. It's 8-1. A couple of singles back to back. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him the chase in the two strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. Stepping in, Anthony Volpe. Next pitch downstairs. Yeah, that's ball two. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Next offering way off the plate. One out. Runners at first and second. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Oh, that's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. It's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. And here it comes. And that'll load the bases. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. So the batting order turns over. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Line drive, base hit. One run is in. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. Well done, drives in the run. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. That's a base hit, run scores. And they hold the runner at third. Bases remain loaded here, still only one gone. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Bounced up the middle. Merrifield. Now two away as they get a run across. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the play. Chris Judge has been an exit velocity monster, leading the league in exit velo in 17, 18, 19, 21, and makes the play, and that's out number three. Top of the sixth inning, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first, and Guerrero is set down. Well, there's a sign from the crew chief. We are officially in a rain delay as they'll put the tarp on the infield and hope this one passes quickly. Well, the goal is to resume play within the hour, so that leaves these managers with a bit of a decision. And Will they be able to keep their pitchers in the game or not? So we'll have to see on the other side, folks.
We welcome you back with good news. The tarp is off the field. And it's done raining here at the ballpark, so we can get back to action. Jonathan Loisica takes the mound as the new arm after a 45-minute break, and we are ready to roll. Here's George Springer. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Lifted in the air right center field. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. Now it's Jansen in the head. And a pitch. To the right side. Tosses to Got the it. pitcher covering the bag. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Now here is Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. Hard hit, right side. Tosses to first. Rizzo out of the play. And now here is Trent Grisham. And a pitch. And foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Slow roller up the middle. Two up, two down. Austin Wells digs in now. Kicks and deals. There's a line drive to left field. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Wells makes the turn at second. Relay throw to third. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And He'll feel real good about that one. Swing and a ball popped up. Bichette makes the catch. And, and welcome back. Now it's going to be Brandon Bell. Brandon Bell. Well, these Blue Jays finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And you got to give some credit to the other oh, side as well. Blue They've been able to get out of a few tough here. jams, but Maybe. frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. To third, Cabrera. Slings it across, oh. and two away to start the seventh. Two outs, space is empty. And here is Matt Chapman in there for a strike at the top of the zone. Swings and misses, struck him out. Back in the Bronx, bottom of the seventh. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. And he deals. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Now up is the Yankees DH, Alex Verdugo. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. In the air, out towards right center. Springer flashes the leather on the run and catch. Here's Glaber Torres. Out towards left center. Kiermaier on the move. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Another big game. He's looking pretty much unstoppable at the plate. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Kicks and fires. Hard ground ball base knock. Torres coming home. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back 
in the Bronx. Here's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground right side. Torres over to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. And that one is inside. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. The pitch. And down on strikes. And there's two down. And now, Bobichet at the belt and fires. Good job to fight that one off. 3 2. And that one hammered. Grisham ranging back. Back some more. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. New pitcher on now, Tim Mazo. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. The pitch. That one ripped. Way back there. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And a 1-1. One -one. That's towards center. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. Two away. So up next, Trent Grisham. The pitch. And now it's even up. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. Popped in the air. Left side. That takes care of Grisham. Back here in New York. New inning getting started. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. On the ground right side. Whips it to first. One up, one down. And the batter is George Springer. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. Back to the mound. Into the outfield. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Danny Jansen will hit next. Next offering is foul back. The one-two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Brandon Bell next up for the Blue Jays. New pitcher for the Yankees, Victor Gonzalez. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. An 11 1 5. The show.
Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the New York Yankees. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. So the New York Yankees are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence. And that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. First pitch coming your way next. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Hitless of the first two games of the series. He's 0 for 8. The 1-1 is fouled off. Got him looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Bo Bichette up to the dish. And now one and two. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. And that'll do it. Here's Alex Verdugo. Leading off for the Yankees. The center fielder. Alex Verdugo. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one. one Good pitch down Good around shot. the knees. You want to be there all game in a park like this. A pop-up sometimes will carry out. And that one lifted in the air center field. And it falls. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Labor Torres up to hit. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. The 1-1. One, one. Runner on the go. Swing one, and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. And they got him. Man, that's tough right there. I understand wanting to try to get into scoring position, but you got to realize the guy at the plate's so hot right now, you don't want to take the bat out of his hands in terms of having a bigger Ow. RBI opportunity. Unfortunate mistake right there. 1-1 one, one now. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. Righty delivers. And down on strikes he goes. And Back at Yankee Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Next one is off the plate. Now three and one. Three ball, one no score here in the second. That's in there. And that is strike two. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now two away. Number 36. Next up for the Blue Jays. This to center field. Verdugo gets under it. Brings it in for the third out. We head to the bottom of the second. And the batter now, Aaron Judge. Judge rips that one. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And Aaron Judge cruising into second. He's got a double. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Hyun Jin Ryu. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Come back to the mound. Merrifield to first in time. Rizzo out of the play. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. 
So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses. Smash to the left side. Bichette whips it to first. But it's 1-0 as the run scores. Here's Jose Trevino. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. Next Whoa. offering misses down and away. Liner, base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. The third base hit. So two down, DJ. and up next for New York, Whoa. DJ LeMayhew. Hey. Back up the middle and a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. All over that one right there. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away. With oh, now this ball gets down. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. The one-two. In the air, center field. Kiermaier on the move. Grabs it on the run. And that's the inning. Back for more from the Bronx. And now the veteran third baseman, Matt Chapman. And now the lefty. That one the other way. Fair ball. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. The throw into second. In there. Just beat the tag. It's a double. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. With a pitch away, that's exactly what you want to do with it. Drive it the other way. And right there, just barely able to Go. keep it fair down the line for the double. Three one. The 3-1 three -one in for a strike full count. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. In there. And so now one and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Volpe puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. That's a really nice play ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. One and two now. That one ripped right center field. Hits the fence. The run comes in from second. It's 1-1. One -one. And that's a double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the oh, kind of swing no. you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Man on second, two down. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Set for the bottom of the third, here is Glaber Torres. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Makes a nice running catch. One away. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. There's a swing and a drive. And gone! Juan 
Soto goes deep. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. Oh, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook a foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. It's Aaron Judge now. That one drilled left field. And it's gone. Another one. Back to back homers. It's his sixth home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 3-1. Back to back homers. Always a special feeling at the ballpark. Especially if it's your team that does it. And those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up the ball club. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The lefty ready and a 1-1. And a foul ball. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Around first, heading for two. Kiermaier throws to second, and he's out trying for two. There's Stanton now. A 1-1. On the ground, out to short. Throws to first, and they take care of Stanton for the out. That is out of the fourth. And now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. The next offering misses. Three and one now. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team. To second for one. How about that double play? I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork yeah. really comes into play. But right there, very well done. Two outs. Goes down looking. Trevor Richards gets handed the rock out of the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here's a 1 1. Out to short. Bichette. Whips it across, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. The 1-1. One, one. And right back to the mound. Gets it to first. That ends the inning. Back at Yankee Stadium, we go to the top of the fifth. And now for the Jays, number 36. Well, these Jays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game. And oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is out of here. His first homer of the year, and they close the gap. It's 3-2. His bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. Chased it One out ball. of the zone. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the catch, and there's one away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Snags it for the second out. And a one-two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Alex Verdugo. Next oh, offering dude. is down low. Well, and that misses off the outside edge. 
Full count. Three and two now. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And the righty deals. That's ripped. Base hit. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second, and he's out. Here comes Glaber Torres. Right-handed reliever. Up the middle. Nice grab. Over to first. And he gets him. Nicely done. Juan Soto down. He's already homered in this game. Way out front for strike two. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering misses, and now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swung on, belted. Kiermaier going back on it, racing back some more. And that one is going to go. He's done it again. His second home of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's 4-2. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Two outs, nobody on. Aaron Judge at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Stays alive. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Here's Kiermaier now. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Lifted in the air down the left side. Soto brings it in. Out number two. And yeah, the batter now, Bo Bichette, one for two. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Here's a 1-2. Now this is in the air down the line. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Now a screamer into the outfield. This looks like extra bases, and that's going to roll to the wall. The run comes in from second, and they trail by one. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's George Springer. Sliced down the right side. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Next okay. pitch inside. Full count three and two. The 3-2 the is Take off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Yeah, well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Ball to strike. There's a strike. Check swing. Appeal to first. No, he held up. Guerrero over at second. Springer on at first with two down. And he chases that one. Good job at damage control right there. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Zach Pop. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. The 1-1. One -one. The other way. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Got him swinging. 
Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. And now it's one and two. In the air out to center. Kiermaier moving under it. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And now it's DJ now LeMayhew that. digging in. DJ LeMayhew. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself out. to the bag, and that'll do it. Back now in the Bronx. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. A wide to kick the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. One hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Around second now, going for three. Oh, the throw is over his head. He'll make it up to third, and I'm sure that'll be an error of the outfielder. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Pitcher on here, Ian Hamilton. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Next to hit, Alejandro Kirk. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Right side, Torres. They get one out, but the tying run comes in. Next is the designated hitter, Santiago Espinal. On the ground to short, Volpe. And he's out. He's out. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. And a 1-1. One -one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Tapped out in front of the plate. Throw on to Rizzo. Out. And that is the third out of the inning. Eric Swanson on to pitch here. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. And a base hit up the middle. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it. First offering. Runner goes. Nice stop. Nicely done for the out. Here's Glaber Torres. Second baseman. Glaber Torres. Tied at four. That's the third. Sends it across the first. And Glaber Torres retired. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. The 1-1. One -one. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. He takes it on his own. And that is the inning. We're at the top of the eighth. And now for the Jays, Kevin Kiermeyer. Tell base That's hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Right-hander kicks deals. Just misses with that one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that ball. On the mound now, Scott Efros. He last pitched two days ago. The 1-1. That one rip, but foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Hard liner. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. 
Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And now he steps off the rubber. Right into the play. He goes down looking. And the batter is George Springer. And the right-hander deals. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Kiermaier, the lead runner at second. Springer at first, two out of the inning. Swing and a miss as he was late. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and here is Aaron Judge. The white field. Aaron Judge. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats, and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Two and one on Judge. And there's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. The first baseman, Anthony. And here's the first Rizzo. baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. This one in the air right field. That's back there. And that one is out of here. He circles the bases. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 6-4. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Chad Green ready to go. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Two and one now. You know, these Yankees digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Three one now. Late swing, fouled off. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. That's out to center field. Kiermaier moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And next for New York, Jose Trevino. One for three. Still only one out here in the inning. That to right. And George makes the grab. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Two outs, base is empty. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. See? Fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. Anthony Volpe now at the plate. One, one down. That clips the corner. One, two now. Just oh. off the outside part of the plate. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. They take the force out. Out them. Back to the Bronx. We go to the ninth. Now the third baseman, Matt Chapman. 
So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Clay Holmes. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And that one is lifted in the air. Can't get their base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Right side. Judge is there. He's got it. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. Ball to strike. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Whit Merrifield, the next to hit. And there's one thing on the minds of these fans, and that's the sweep. The 1-1. One, one. Good eye right there. Runner at third, two away. That one outside. And now three balls and a strike. Right through there for a strike. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Two gone with runners at the corners. Now the number two hitter, Kevin Kiermeyer. And Boog, I'd say he's due. That misses the zone. Three and one. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but. They're going to make him work to get this save. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Bobashek gets a chance to hit. The next oh. pitch misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their key. <laughs> and it's even up. And a swing and a miss. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. A oh, really nice three-game home series sweep. They came out and, you know, from the first game of this series, really had a determination to play fundamentally sound baseball. They came up with the big hit when they needed it. Pitchers came in. They got the big outs when they needed it. So all the way around, uh, a collective effort that has produced a nice little series sweep. 6-5 the final here today. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven men on base.